Chiswick House and Gardens is without doubt one of London's most beautiful historic homes. But like so many of our attractions, it suffered financially as a result of the lockdown. But now the visitors are beginning to return and it's hoped a series of outdoor, socially distanced events will raise some much needed funds. Victoria Hollins is there for us this evening. Victoria. Alice, when was the last time you saw this? A stage that's going to have live performers on it and a crowd as well coming to watch. It's all very safely done. You can see the white markings on the grass here for the pods. They all, people will all sit together in those pods. On the way in here, you can see people starting to arrive. They are going to sanitise their hands on the way in. Social distancing, of course, taking place uh, all the time. It's been, though, a pretty tough few months for Chiswick uh, House and Gardens, as it has for many places. Uh, they've had lots of people come to visit the grounds people are treating it as a bit of a haven in, in tough times but they've had absolutely no income no events no weddings no selling from the cafe it means they've got a big black hole in their budgets of more than half a million pounds and that's what this is about the next three weeks of comedy and music well let's talk to uh, some of those involved this evening uh, uh, Thorfinn you help you organize this essentially your idea back in june yeah, why right. it's a big challenge uh well i guess i spent a lot of time in this park when i was younger so i grew up minutes away and it means a lot to me this place so when i found out that they had a huge black hole in their finances i just thought there's an opportunity here we'll get ready the moment the guidelines change and outdoor events are allowed again we'll be ready to go and it'll be all in aid of the park doing several jobs i think helping the park raise some money giving the community something back and making sure there's something to actually do after the lockdown's been going on for so long and giving us something to a good cause to work towards while we're furloughed well uh, angela barnes you're going to be taking to the stage uh, tonight I am indeed. not a huge amount of material for comedy at the moment is that fair oh i don't know i think in disasters is where people need to laugh most isn't it so um, they might not want to hear too much about covid and what's been going on because we're coming here to escape that but uh, yeah people are really up for it they, they want to laugh they want to be out of their houses and they want some live entertainment so yeah, and what's it like for you as a performer having that live audience back oh it's so glorious i mean we've been doing stuff online and you know you adapt but there's nothing like having real actual people to perform to um you know and, and feel that electricity and, and getting that stuff back from the audience and i mean we've all been driving our loved ones nuts at home so it's good to finally get back out and on stage and Thorfinn, you've got some pretty big names as well as Angela coming up in the next uh, three weeks. Tell us about some of them because some are local as well. Yeah, we've got lots of big local comedians. Daro Bream lives just down the road and he's coming in uh, September. I think he's already sold out though, but um, there's still plenty more things. We've got a Queen tribute act. We've got local indie bands. We've got opera and, uh, and there's there should be something for just about everybody. Well, uh, best of luck. Thanks very much indeed. As you can see, it is starting to fill up here this evening, but uh, do have a look because there are tickets still av available for the three weeks ahead. Back to you, Alice.